Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the 33 Pi Game tutorial video from youtube.com slash Centex for Bucking the New Boston. What we got going on here is we've got this nice snake game. We've fixed our uh, our text, all that awesome. And now things are a little better when we uh, lose the game. And now what I want to talk about is like a starting screen. So right now when we start the game, we're immediately launched into the game. The snake's moving and maybe that's a little bit of overload for people. So kind of works to have some sort of like start screen, you know? Um, so that's what we're going to add in this video is we're going to add a start screen and then kind of improve it in the next one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So a start screen only needs to run one time. We could run it on game over, but we already have game over handling, right? Game over handling is, hey, either quit or play again. Um, you already kind of understand the game and you're ready. So we don't need to do that. We just need to run game intro like right at the beginning. So with that, let's go ahead and just make a quick function here. We're going to just do uh, define game underscore intro. And what we're going to do is we're going to say intro equals uh, true. And while they're in the intro, uh, we're going to say wow intro. And then we're going to just do uh, the typical stuff. So this will be kind of like its own little instance. So. You'll see what I mean in a second, but game display dot fill white, and then we're gonna do a message to screen, and the message to screen will be uh, welcome to slither, and uh, the color is gonna be green. The Y displacement will be negative 100, and the size will be uh, large. And just so I don't confuse anybody, these were the defaults. You don't, uh, since we're using all of them, you didn't. We didn't even have to specify size really, so I could do just this if you want. Just so it's not like, why did he define just that one? Uh, then we're gonna say, so that's welcome to slither, large screen while intro is true, all that awesome. Um, then what we're going to do is do another message uh, to screen and this message will be um, the objective of the game is to eat red apples, um, comma, and this will be black, um, I, think, I guess black. And then we'll do like negative 30, black, negative 30. And this will be um, small. And if you recall, we actually have small as the default. So we don't actually have to th throw anything in there at all. So that, and then let me just, let's just copy this and paste and paste. And then we'll come down here and then we'll say, um, the more apples you eat, the longer you get. And then we'll say this is at negative uh, 70, maybe. <laughs> and then um, uh, if you run into yourself or the edges, or I guess, or the, yeah, I guess we'll say, or the edges you die. And then this will be negative 110. So we've been moving like 40 pixels every time. So let's go ahead and run that really quick. Actually, well, uh, nothing will update if we do that. So what we're going to want to do is we'll say pygame.display.update. And then we'll do uh, clock.tick15. Something like that. Um, and then in theory we'd want to have like some sort of call to action as well but we'll get there in a minute um, so let's just run that really quick and see like how that alignment works oh, oh we didn't even call it oh my goodness amateur hour over here so we need to call game intro so we'll just call it uh, I it would be best to be down, like way down here where we call the main loop so game loop we really call uh, game intro empty parameters at the very bottom here Save and run that one more time. 
And so we have this. So we have a little bit of overlap. We've also got uh, some lag happening here that's not good. That something is uh, not working correctly. I'll close out of this one. So we definitely have some things that we need to fix here. Uh, where the hell is... Here we go. So let's do... Um, Let me see what I had done before. So negative 30, and then, oh, I see what we've done. Uh, so negative 30, and then 10, and then uh, we'll do 50. And then eventually we'd want to run another function here, or another question, and it would be like this, right? Uh, uh, and this one will be, we'll do 180, and let's go over to the edges here and we'll just say press oops press c to play or q to quit okay so i'm going to save and run that again we're going to have that same lag issue but um yeah the alignment is, is decent i can't even move the window over to like show you guys but <laughs> so we got, like, there we go not responding but uh the alignment is working so now we're going to close out of this and we're going to fix this this uh, other major issue that we've got going on. Um, and for that, I think we'll do that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you for watching.